During this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a pre-built animation to your project and then how to fully customize that animation. So to get started, we're going to click on to add a new scene. I'm going to click on create new scene. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to click on add animation slash slide. I'm then going to click on add explain to slide. And then from here, I'm going to browse through here and find something that I would like to go ahead and add to my project. So let's go with the monitor 3D for example, and let's go with this one here. So we have like an iPad or a monitor coming into the screen and then some text that we can customize. So I'm going to click on add single, going to add that. Now that we have that added, I'm going to close out of my canvas. And now again, we can see the animation here and all the different content that we can customize. Now to customize all of this information on the left hand side, you're going to notice that we have four different tabs. We have the scene, the SWF, the slide and the effects. We're going to click on the slide. And then from here, we're going to click on customize this animation. And when I click on that, that opens up a brand new selection of options. So now we have the text, the image, the video, the animation and the outline. Now, of course, the text is where we can edit and customize any text fields that are inside of this animation. So for this particular animation that I selected, we have four different text fields. We have the header number one with the heading text. Then we have the header number two with the header number two subtext. So I can simply click inside of this and instead of saying heading one goes here, I can say my headline and now on the preview to the right hand side, we can see it now says my headline. So that there is how we can customize all the different texts that we have, including the font, the size, the colors, and so forth. The next option that we have here is the image. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And for here, we have the background image, image area number one and image area number two. Now, again, depending on the animation that you selected, the number of image areas that you have might vary. I have the two different monitors, so I'm able to upload two different images, one for each monitor. So what I can do for image area number one, for example, I can click on browse, gallery, or remove. Since I don't currently have an image, I'm gonna go ahead and click on browse. From here, I'm gonna select my background number one, click on open, and when I do that, we can see now inside of my animation, when it repeats here, that we have my image embedded inside of that monitor. Same thing for image area number two. I can click on browse, select my second image here, click on open, and now we'll have that image as well inside of my second monitor, as we can see there. Now, if I don't like my image or it's the wrong size, or I just wanna try something else, I can click on remove, and that's simply going to remove that image from my monitor, as we can see there. If I click on gallery, any images that you have added to your gallery will be added here. We can also not only add images, but we can add animations as well inside of that monitor. So let's say I wanted to add this doctor, for example, I click on add image. And now inside of that monitor, we have the doctor. Not only do we have our monitor image areas, but we also have the background image as well. So I'm going to click on browse. And if I wanted to upload my background image here, as my entire background, we can see that changes instantly. So we can use this again to upload different animations or other images. And we can see here it supports JPG, PNG, GIF, SWF, and AVM2 animations. So feel free to use any of those. And once again, if you don't like something, we can simply click on remove. The next option that we have here is the video tab. So we have one video area inside of this animation and just to the right, we can upload our MP4 or our FLV, which is our flash video. So I'm going to click on browse and open up my video here. And once I do that, we can see my background is now this video that I uploaded and it's going to repeat over and over inside of my background. I can choose to have the audio from my video playing as well by check marking this box here and that's going to play the audio along with my video. This however is not a good idea if you plan on doing some type of voiceover or adding some type of background track along with your video. 
So I'm going to leave mine off for now. If you decide you don't want to use the background video, simply click on remove and it will go back to the default background that you had set before uploading your video. The next option that we have here is the animation. I'm going to click on that and we have two different animations that we can customize. So animation number one, I'm going to turn this on. And when I do that, you can see that we now have this animation applied to our project and I can kind of flip through here and change the type of animation that we are using. And we have plenty of different ones to choose from. If you decide you don't want to use any of these animations, simply turn it back off. And for animation number two, you can see that we have some call to action arrows that we can implement into our video as well. And flicking through here again, we have plenty of ones that you can choose from. I'm going to turn that off for now. The last tab that we have here is the outline. And when I click on this, this allows us to customize the colors, the opacities, and the locations of all the different elements inside of our animation. If we go ahead and jump back to our text here, I'm going to go ahead and pause my animation on the right hand side so that we can see all of our changes in real time. So right now we have my headline and I kind of want to show you how you can move your text around and how easy it is to change the colors, change the font and things like that. So right now we're working with my headline. Again, I can simply click in here and change my text color just like so. I can change the font family. We have plenty of different font to choose from just like that. Change the font size as well as easy as everything else. Go ahead and make that 75. Let's go ahead and drop it back down to 65. Let's change this back to something a little bit better. There we go. I'm going to make my text white so it's a little bit easier to read. And as for the location, we can use the X offset and the Y offset to move my text around. So as I change this, we can see that my headline is moving to the right. And if I do my Y offset, we can see that we can take my text up or down as well by simply holding this in and moving it around. So we can use both of these to move my headline to wherever I want it inside of the video. And not only can I do that with my text, I can do it with any of my text areas, but we can also do that with our images as well. If I go to my doctor here, I can click on that and we can see that my doctor is now moving around inside of my monitor, just like that, okay? So we can easily move anything around inside of our animation. And once you are done fully customizing your animation and you have it the way that you like, simply click on close here and that will take you back to the original settings and you can get back to working on the rest of your project.